the children, actually. Very well, monsieur. The studies? I missed them. In selecting the cast for the 1940 film All This and Heaven Too, the casting process involved meticulous auditions and chemistry tests to ensure the perfect fit for each role. The director and producers carefully handpicked each key actor based on their talent and suitability for the characters they would portray. The pivotal moments that defined the casting included the actors' abilities to embody the essence of their roles evoke emotions that resonated with the story and establish believable chemistry with their co-star. Through a rigorous selection process, the cast members were chosen for their exceptional acting skills and their ability to bring the characters to life on screen. Each actor's unique qualities and interpretations played a significant role in shaping the final casting decisions, resulting in a stellar ensemble that contributed to the success of the film. The directorial vision of the 1940 movie All This and Heaven Too was focused on capturing the emotional depth of the story. The director aimed to bring out the intricate relationships and dramatic moments in a visually compelling way. Drawing inspiration from classic melodramas of the time, the director infused the film with a sense of grandeur and sophistication. In terms of style, the director utilized sweeping camera movements and lush cinematography to enhance the period setting and the emotional intensity of the characters. The use of lighting and shadow played a significant role in creating a sense of mood and atmosphere throughout the film. Collaboration with the cast and crew was integral to the director's approach. Working closely with the actors, the director guided them in delivering nuanced performances that conveyed the complexity of the characters' emotions. The crew, including the cinematographer and art director, played a crucial role in bringing the director's visual vision to life, ensuring that every frame was rich with detail and meaning. Overall, the director's approach to all this, and Heaven Too, was marked by a dedication to storytelling through visuals and performances, aiming to create a captivating and emotionally resonant cinematic experience. You see her, didn't you? Yes, I went to see her and took the children. And yes, she has suffered. The movie All This and Heaven Too is a classic from 1940 that's filled with interesting facts. Did you know who your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this movie was? Stay tuned to discover funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up. Have you heard any lesser known anecdotes about this film that fascinate you? Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this movie in the comments below. The first snow. Yes, it's Cavoli this year. How like a fairyland. During the production of the 1940 movie All This and Heaven Too, the set design was intricate and detailed, transporting viewers to different eras. The locations chosen for filming added authenticity to the scenes, creating a captivating backdrop for the storyline. Logistical challenges such as coordinating large casts and crew, managing costumes and ensuring continuity were carefully addressed to maintain the film's quality. Innovative techniques, like advanced lighting and camera setups, were used to enhance visual effects and capture emotions effectively on screen. Isn't it wonderful? There, yeah, look, just coming in. It's Victor Hugo. When I grow up, I'm going to... All this, and then Heaven Two, a 1940 film, is a tale of love, betrayal, and societal expectations set in 19th century France. The story revolves around a governess, a duke, and the complexities of their forbidden relationship. The movie beautifully captures the grandeur and elegance of the time period with stunning costumes and elaborate settings that transport the audience to a bygone era. The performances of the actors bring depth and emotion to the characters drawing viewers into their world of intrigue and romance. As the plot unfolds, secrets come to light, leading to a compelling climax that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. Overall, All This and Heaven Too is a classic film that continues to captivate audiences with its timeless story of love and sacrifice. Have mercy! You're mad, Teo! No, Teo! I didn't mean it! Teo! No! No, Teo! Teo! The music in the 1940 movie All This and Heaven 2 plays a crucial role in enhancing the overall narrative 
and emotional tone of the film. Composers and musicians work together to create a soundtrack that perfectly complements the story on screen. The music captures the romantic, dramatic, and poignant moments in the movie, heightening the audience's emotional connection to the characters and the plot. Through melodies, harmonies, and orchestration, the soundtrack evokes a range of feelings that mirror the unfolding events on screen, allowing viewers to immerse themselves fully into the story. Composers and musicians brought their talents together to craft a musical experience that enhances the viewer's engagement with this classic film. Well, use the parlor, but this time use it to some purpose. You are good to me. In the past, Maurice Costello's parents were Thomas Costello and Ellen Fitzgerald. June Lockhart discussed her sci-fi and horror roles in Tom Weaver's book. Charles Boyer used a girdle for posture. In historical times, men of nobility in Europe wore corsets. It has not always been pleasant living with this blanket in my life. I sometimes feel like one of those silhouettes artists cut out of black. One of the most iconic scenes in the movie is the emotional confrontation between the main characters. The director masterfully captures the intensity of the moment allowing the actors to showcase their talent. The cinematography enhances the dramatic impact, with lighting and framing adding depth to the scene. This moment resonates with the audience due to the raw emotions on display, drawing them further into the story. Filmmakers and actors alike have praised this scene for its authenticity and power. Another standout scene is the grand ballroom dance sequence. The director's skill is evident in choreographing this visually stunning moment. The performance of the actors brings elegance and grace to the scene, captivating the audience. The cinematography shines, capturing the opulence of the setting and the beauty of the dancers. This scene leaves a lasting impression on viewers, showcasing the glamour and romance of the era. A third iconic scene involves a pivotal revelation that changes the course of the story. The director builds suspense effectively, leading to a climactic moment where the truth is unveiled. The actors deliver powerful performances, conveying the shock and drama of the revelation. The cinematography heightens the tension, with close-ups and dramatic angles intensifying the impact. This scene leaves the audience on the edge of their seats, eager to see how the characters will react. Overall, these iconic scenes in the movie demonstrate the skillful direction powerful performances, captivating cinematography, and emotional impact that make all this and heaven to a classic film that continues to resonate with audiences today. As if I had been guilty of that. They were like my own children, though perhaps I was wrong to... Maurice Costello, the father of actresses Dolores Costello and Helene Costello, played a significant role in the entertainment industry. At Davis, with her English heritage, and ancestral ties to Scotland and Wales left a lasting impact on American cinema. The U.S. Postal Service honored Betta Davis in 2008 with a commemorative postage stamp on the 100th anniversary of her birth. A celebration at Boston University included notable speakers such as her son Michael Merrill and the legendary Lauren Bucall. These individuals' contributions continue to shape the landscape of film and culture to this day. Teo! Are you mad? You want to kill him, mademoiselle? The film All This and Heaven Too had a significant impact on culture and society. It resonated with audiences by portraying complex relationships and emotional struggles. The movie influenced pop culture through its romantic themes and dramatic storytelling, inspiring other works in the film industry. Additionally, it sparked discussions on themes of love, sacrifice, and morality, leading viewers to reflect on their own beliefs and values. Overall, the film's cultural and social impact continues to be felt, showcasing the power of storytelling to connect people and provoke thought. What are the children? I promised Monsieur le Duc. You needn't hope that this time he will protect In a notable aspect of the film, Francois, the Duchesse de Preslin, affectionately calls her husband Theo, an abbreviated form of Theobald, one of his middle names. Curiously, his actual first name was Charles. Moving on to a different angle, Betty Davis played a significant role in guiding Girl Scouts and Cub Scouts, stemming from her own upbringing 
as a respected Girl Scout. Further, Betta Davis was the mother of Barbara Merrill and the grandmother of J. Ashley Hyman. Interestingly, B.D. had limited interaction with her nanny, Marion Sherry, until William Grant Sherry departed from Davis to be with her. After B.D.'s revealing book about her mother soured their relationship, the Sherrys reconciled with B.D., forming a new bond. As soon as your mother is ready. Mademoiselle, did you pack enough woolen stockings for your scout? I hope the rain will go flavor out of time while we are The 1940 movie received positive critical reception, with reviewers praising the compelling storyline and excellent performances. Audiences also reacted positively to the film, enjoying the romantic drama and historical setting. The movie garnered several prestigious awards and nominations, including Academy Award nominations for Best Picture, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Art Direction. Winning awards like the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress further solidified its acclaim in the industry. These accolades signify recognition and appreciation for the hard work and talent of those involved in creating the film. The complicity in the murder of the Duchess of Prana. Take her out. Please, please believe me, it is I alone who am guilty. Come this way. <laughs> Francis Velma Splane and John Francis O'Rourke, both from Bessemer, Alabama, had a daughter named Peggy Stewart. In the 1946 cartoon Short Hollywood Daffy, a caricature of Betty Davis is depicted entering the Warmer Brothers studio lot having an inner dialogue. Meanwhile, Henry Daniel, often mistaken for Alan Mowbray, played roles as sophisticated upper-class characters with elegance. Both actors specialized in portraying posh personas and refined manservants. Davis's animated representation humorously contemplates her perceived flaws, embracing her supposed faults as part of her identity. These facts shed light on the backgrounds and nuances of the characters involved in this classic. From Massachusetts. My name is Field, Henry Field, but there's a Martin in the middle. During the making of the movie, there was a delightful incident where the lead actors shared a hearty laugh during a serious scene, lightening the mood on set. The crew bonded over shared meals, creating a warm and friendly atmosphere. Despite challenges during filming, the cast members supported each other, fostering a sense of camaraderie. The director's passion for the project shone through, inspiring everyone involved to give their best performances. These behind-the-scenes moments added depth to the filming experience, making it a cherished memory for all. Isabel, Louise, Bert, all of you, I'll come in and see you at lunchtime. In the 1930s, Frank Reicher, a skilled German character actor, gravitated towards anti-Nazi war dramas and classic horror films, often portraying serious professional roles like professors and doctors. His most famous portrayal was as Captain Engelhorn in the iconic ape movies King Kong and Son of Kong. Within the film, the duck and Duchess are depicted with four children while in reality the Duke de Choiseul Preslin and Duchesse had a total of 10 children. In late 1934, Dubray and Anna Q. Nilsson collaborated, with Nilsson engaging with producers and directors while Dubray managed the administrative tasks. You must promise to stay out here for five minutes. Please, mademoiselle. This your base for five The movie, All This and Heaven Too, holds a significant place in film history due to its emotional depth and compelling storytelling. It has influenced future filmmaking by showcasing the power of romantic dramas and historical narratives. This classic inspired subsequent works to explore similar themes of love, sacrifice, and redemption on the big screen leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Good heavens, child, don't spill Mama's ink. I'm not spilling, I'm drawing. Well, give that to me. In the realm of the entertainment industry, there are often hidden tales of friendship and betrayal. One such narrative involves Claire Dubray and Marie Dressler. Claire, a trusted companion to Marie, extended her nursing skills to care for Marie in her time of need. However, malicious whispers tainted their bond with baseless accusations of ulterior motives. Despite Marie's pleas, Claire's to sever ties. Tragically, when Marie succumbed to cancer, Claire found herself sidelined from Marie's will. Seeking reparation, 
Claire demanded 25,000 for her services, but was granted only 3,000 by the court. Besides her caregiving prowess, Claire displayed remarkable athleticism in sports and film stunts. On another note, June Lockhart, a prominent figure in her own right, is the proud mother of Anne and Elizabeth Lockhart. Such intertwined lives weave a complex tapestry within the realm of show business. All right. In 2001, Steven Spielberg acquired Betty Davis's Best Actress Oscar for $578,000 at Christie's auction, and later donated it to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Betty Davis was portrayed by Kelly Moore in the play Jezebel and Me. Charles Boyer pursued studies in philosophy at the Sorbonne and drama at the Paris Conservatoire. This classic presents a glimpse into the accomplished careers of these influential figures. Do you find that satisfactory, Dale? Oh, it's more than satisfactory, Francis. It's Virginia Weidler became a mother at 21, welcoming her son Ronald Alexander Crissel on July 19, 1948, with her husband, Lionel Crissel. Peggy Stewart attended the Western Film Fair in July 2002 alongside other stars like Donna Douglas, Ed Burns, Alex Cord, Jean Porter, and Johnny Duncan. Interestingly, Maurice Costello shares his birthday, February 22nd, with his great-granddaughter Drew Barrymore. It's a wise chicken that runs to... In 1938, Warner Brothers acquired the film rights for an impressive 100,000. The production budget for the movie was set at a lavish 1,370,000. Claire Dubray, who attended a convent school, had a Catholic upbringing. June Lockhart, known for her role as the mother in the Lassie series, also portrayed an elder version of Elizabeth Taylor's character in The Son of Lassie. But Monsieur, I've always had to fend for myself, and it's taught me to be practical. In the movie, 37 costumes for a lead actor, each costing 1,000, were used. The lead actor, Betta Davis, had a unique family background being the maternal granddaughter of William and Harriet Favor. June Lockhart's first credited role was in this film, making it her second appearance. Interestingly, out of the four children starring in the movie, Lockhart was the only one to pursue acting into adulthood. In the film, a renowned actress, Betty Davis, was involved in numerous acclaimed Best Picture nominees, showcasing her talent and versatility. The tragic loss of Mary Anderson's young child in 1956 brought immense sorrow. Peggy Stewart, with her two children from her second marriage, worked alongside her son in a notable 1972 production. These personal anecdotes add depth to the lives behind the scenes of the film industry. Yes, she has suffered. And you have suffered too, poor Teo. Haven't you? Henry Daniel, a talented actor, tragically passed away after filming a scene with the Queen of Transylvania for a different movie than the one you mentioned. His close friend, George Cooker, noticed his illness just before his sudden death. Claire Dubray, on the other hand, had a diverse career across major studios, starting with Universal Studios. Born to a Croatian father, and an Irish-American mother, she navigated the film industry with ease, showcasing her acting skills in various productions. Both Daniel and Dubray left their mark in the world of film, each with their unique contributions and legacies. Their stories offer a glimpse into the lives of these Hollywood figures and the intricate workings of the movie industry during that era. In the 1940 movie, the bed in the Duchess's bedroom is the same bed used in Gone with the Wind. Barbara O'Neill played Scarlett's mother in that film. Jeffrey Lynn appeared in three Oscar Best Picture nominees, including this classic. Ed Davis and Jonathan Winters shared a memorable moment on The Tonight Show, starring Jack Parr when Winters imitated Davis's gravelly voice, leading to a humorous exchange. To keep that promise, it takes a lifetime of devotion. Have you ever watched the 1940 movie All This and Heaven Too? 
This classic film has touched the hearts of many viewers over the years. It has a way of leaving a lasting impression and influencing how we see cinema. Have you had a memorable experience with this film? Share your stories and reflections with us. Your personal connection to this movie could be a source of inspiration for others. Join the conversation. Let's explore the impact of all this and Heaven 2 together. Engage with us through likes, shares, and subscriptions for more cinematic discussions. Your voice matters, and your story could resonate with many. Share your thoughts and memories with us today. Future. But if you could only see into your future, you would see that there is so